Mystery the Magic Van is a 1977 high-top GMC. She was my home for three years, through some of my lowest points in life and highest points of excitement and adventure. She challenged me. To do. I need to show you the inside of this diabolical mess. It's a disaster. I have been using this space as storage, mostly for tools. And so now it is time to clean up. Right. Let's do this. Today is a full moon. Full moon is tonight. And it is a momentous day because today, Mystery's gonna go to a new home. I'm not quite sure how to feel about it. I think I'm sad and it feels surreal. This has been my home for three years. More than three years. And I've done so much work, poured so much of my heart and soul into this van. And now I'm giving it away. I'm giving this van to somebody who needs it. So I haven't turned the engine on in a little bit. Let's... Oh, that doesn't sound good. Doesn't sound good at all. She might not even turn on! Fuck. I feel like something just shorted because the battery power was on and then it went like that. Shit. <coughs> Shit, 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 shit. This is what happens if you don't keep a vehicle running. Things happen. Oh, I need to have this vehicle running. Hmm. Oh, she only needs to get to her new resting place and then she can be forever in a rest. Come on, little van. I'm sorry I haven't started you in ages. Did I kill something? Yeah. Nothing. I think I blew a fuse somewhere. All right, where are the fuses? I just had a look under the engine and I know that there's like a master fuse or something in there, but for the life of me, I can't see it or know where it is. So I think I'm gonna call our AA, Automobile Association. Um, and for starters, they could probably tow the van back a little bit, but also like, do some testing with their electrical equipment to see why it's not working far out. I just need it to start once and drive to its new home. Fuck. If you have an old vehicle, keep it running. Don't leave it sitting. I mean, I made the same mistake with this guy and now there's a few things that don't work, but they're easy fixes on this one. And this, because it's a 1977, is way harder. Two days later. So which vehicle are we talking about here? It's so weird to see the van so empty. The drawers are empty. I'm cleaning things out. There's not much, not much left in here now. Most, some of my 
personal touches are gone. <sighs> yep. Saying goodbye. I have gone to the insurance company and done the change of ownership. So mystery is no longer mine. Now to clear out some more things and do some cleaning so that she can go off to her new home. <sighs> I'm sad, but also joyful for a new life for her, but sad that our, our adventures are ending. Hi YouTube, hi everybody. I just wanted to give you an update. I have my lovely friend here who is going to be, or who already is, we've already signed the papers, uh, Mystery's new owner. Uh, they're taking Mystery to the place where they live and I'm so glad I could give Mystery to you. <laughs> I'm happy. Yay. Thank you so much. So uh, my journey is ending and yours is just beginning. So congratulations on your new home. <laughs> Aww. Morning. Morning everybody. I've been having a real rough time. I had a big cry last night actually. Like, I cried quite a bit. This week, I did the change of ownership on Mystery. She has a new owner, a new home. A new home to go to. And... I'm finding it pretty emotional, actually. Like, I didn't expect to be upset about it. I didn't expect it to kind of rock me for six and... I'm gonna cry now again talking about it. Mystery's been my home for three and a bit years and kind of saved me from a bunch of situations and you know how it's like a puppy, you say you rescue the puppy but really the puppy rescues you. I feel like I have that relationship with my old van and I kind of moved out of Mystery suddenly and it kind of came as a shock and there was no real like emotional transition. It was just, I was one one and then immediately I was in Siren in the new van. And then this last few days I've spent time clearing out the van and taking all my stuff out. And because I'm not finished building the storage in here, there's still things that I haven't finished. I don't have places, I don't have homes for everything. And thank goodness it's July, we're in the middle of summer. I can leave stuff outside. And I'm on private property, so it's not like I'm leaving stuff on the side of the road, but it's been really hard to say goodbye and to top it all off, mystery. I mean, the reason she's called mystery is because something would always happen that would make life complicated or harder or some challenge would come up. And... <laughs> now she won't start. And I know it's been like a month or so since it started. And I don't even think it's that. I think because I disconnected the battery system and I left, there was a, a relay switch in there and it was still connected. And I should have disconnected that before I turned to turn, tried turning it on, but I didn't think of it. And I think it caused a short somewhere. And now I have to find the short in the electrical system because you turn the key and the gauges don't even register as showing power. So there's a fuse that I hope there's a fuse that's blown somewhere. Like I have a spare old alternator, but I don't think it would be that because it didn't make any big sound. But And not to mention like the van is on a hill, so I might have to jack up the front to even better get underneath the van because I think there's a master fuse that runs underneath the engine in old GMCs. So, and I only know this because I've blown that fuse before, years ago, but... <laughs> Saying goodbye is hard. It's my old home.
and I'm stoked that she's going to somebody who needs it. Like, this person has been living in their car for a year and a half, and through winter, that's so rough. And so, I'm gl glad that she's going on to a great life and helping out somebody else like she's helped out me. <laughs> and it's been so stressful and still stressful because it's not resolved and I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> and I don't know how to fix it. I mean, I have an idea that it's the electrical system and I've called our automobile association now twice to come out. And they haven't turned up. So I have to call again this morning and ask them, hey, you still haven't turned up. Please come and help. <laughs> and then if that doesn't work, I'm going to have to beg my mechanic to see if he can do a home visit, which he might do out of the kindness of his heart. <laughs> stuff myself. I'm sorry to come on here and complain. But you know I'd like to try and be real and show you what's happening. But this is the last step in like rehoming my home. And I don't like it. And the other thing that's going on is I'm having trouble with this van. And not too bad trouble, but I've been chasing windscreen glass for Siren because she needs to new windscreens. And that was fine until we couldn't find the windscreen gaskets. Now, I think I found them. Mill Supply has them. I had somebody lined up to help me with the propane tank installation and the underslung, underslung water tanks. And he was supposed to do that in like mid-July and he just texted me out of the blue and was like, oh, I can't do it, go somewhere else or you have to wait for a couple of months. Like, I'm so busy and I'm like, why did you say yes? And then say no. <coughs> and of course I feel some time pressure because I need all of this done before winter. And then I have to try and get more power. So I have to go to the solar shop and look for solar panels and hemorrhage some more money. <laughs> money that I don't freaking have. <laughs> and I'm just working so hard to try and make everything happen and try and keep up with weekly videos for YouTube. <laughs> I can't deal if anything else goes wrong. I can't. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't have my camera, but the tow truck guy just came and he helped me jump start the van and checked things. I think it mustn't have been a fuse. I think it must have just been the fact that I had my old relay for charging the house batteries connected. But the van turned over. Easy timing. It was, it's starting to rain. I was in the middle of a Zoom call. Oh, I'm so stressed out. Ah! Anyway, okay. I couldn't keep the van running because I had to run to my Zoom meeting. I'm now gonna turn it on again. Hopefully, freaking hopefully it will turn on again without his jump start. And that I can now then leave the engine running, circulating all the oil, warming it up, and then move it back so it's not freaking in this ditch and ready to move locations because I need to keep this van running so that I can go to its new home. Okay, here we go. <laughs>
I wish I'd tried it after I disconnected the relay instead of stressing about this for two days. Oh. Uh oh. Now we may have dug ourselves into a hole. I should have got tried to get out of the ditch that I'm in before a tow truck left. Can I get myself out of here? Oh, it's not good. This is the problem. This is the wrong tool. The mystery extraction process. I've just moved Siren.
Breakups are hard. Hi, mystery. Hi, everybody. This is my last driving day in mystery. I cried yesterday. Yesterday was like pulling out some of the very, very last stuff, man. This van feels so light and easy to drive because I've moved all the tons and tons of stuff that I had in here. Oh my gosh. She's driving. We had to get a tow truck to tow her out of the hole because she's been sitting for a few months. And this afternoon, this afternoon, Mystery goes to a new home. It's wild. What a freaking journey. And in true Mystery style, she dug her heels in before leaving given me one last run for my money, one last little adventure, one last set of tears. <laughs> Mystery's new home. Oh. Bye, my little van. <laughs> Empty and ready to go. To this beautiful spot in the trees. Your happy home forevermore. Yeah. Bye. Aww. That's such a cute spot. Bye. <laughs> I'm probably gonna cry again tonight. Oh, so beautiful in that little forest spot. Bye, mystery.